Frida has always been a very important part of culture uh, in Mexico, especially of the 20th century cultural movement in Mexico. She has become a, a global universal symbol re relatively recently, but we in Mexico, of course, have known her for a long time. But of course, she represents in many ways, uh, you know, uh, uh, what was begun in the 20th century of, uh, of a modernist movement of a group of artists in Mexico that emerged from the uh, Mexican Revolution after, in the beginning of the 20th century, after the First World War and before the Second World War, um, which were a lot of the artists, like, of course, her husband, Red Diego Rivera, like Orozco, and uh, Tamayo and several others who were, you know, part of a very uh, avant-garde uh, artistic movement, very heavily politicized, uh, but always, you know, which are a central core of what uh, some of the me most prominent Mexican uh, art has happened during the 20th century and up until now in the 21st century. Through her art, she was uh, expressing mostly, you know, a personal experience. And if you see, uh, you know, Frida's, uh, Frida's work throughout the years, uh, you see a dominance of self-portraits. Uh, and self-portraits was basically, she was saying, I'm doing this art because I need to express things that I have inside of me. And a lot of those things had to do with women's issues. Uh, her relationship with her, with her husband, with Diego Rivera, with all the tribulations and drama that it represented, uh, her personal tragedies, her, her fight against her personal uh, illness and her, her, her accident when she was very young. Uh, so all of that is there uh, and has powerful women's and feminist uh, messaging into it. The second one is also very important because I also have to remember that she's constantly through her work and through herself because I think she saw herself as an expression, as an art expression too. Because now we see her image and it's of course it's everywhere, but her image, if you think about Mexico in the uh, you know uh, late 1920s, early 1930s. Mexico was a very different country from what it, it is now, and dressing in you know pre-Hispanic traditional uh, wardrobes like she always did, uh, uh, being a central part of a mid-high class in Mexico, uh, that was not the common thing to do back then. It is very common now, but it was not common then. She was making a statement then. And, uh, uh, and I think that is something that created a lot of respect towards her and a lot of admiration towards her by a wide range of people in Mexico and I think now all over the world. It is a great source of pride. Uh, Mexico is, is very present in the United States as a cultural presence in this country, but particularly here in Atlanta, it is the first time that you know an opera like this is presented here. It is a sign, of course, that uh, Latinos and Hispanics and Mexicans are a growing presence in Georgia and here in Atlanta. We estimate over 300,000 Mexicans who live in Metro Atlanta, over 550,000 in the state of Georgia, and uh, there's no group that is growing as fast as Latinos. Uh, here in Georgia, and that is not because of immigration, that is because they are being born here. These are American Latinos, Mexican Americans, and we are very proud of them. And, uh, and uh, like Latinos and Hispanics, we are now celebrating his the month of celebration of Hispanics all over the United States, and it's a perfect timing to have Frida here in Atlanta. Mm -hmm.